Welcome to Oddsbox, an automation adventure. My name is Neil Oz, and this is a first look at an upcoming automation game called Oddsbox, an automation adventure. It is currently available in a demo version on Steam, so you can check it out too. It's releasing on Steam on the 24th of April 2024, so make sure that you wishlist it on Steam so you don't miss it. So what is Oddsbox? Well, first of all, let's be honest, it's not a Factorio meets Pokemon as I've seen other creators style it as. It has some uh, Stardew Valley uh, aspect, it has some Pokemon management, it has a decent chunk of uh, production management, which may be sort of on the same level as what you can expect in Timberborn. The appeal of the game is the enjoyment of playing it. It plays really smoothly, the progression is very natural, the sparks are super cute, and the production setup is satisfying to build. So what does the Steam description say? Well, it says, Design automated workshops for your odd and adorable Sparks to carry and craft everything, including more of themselves. Lead your squad of Sparks into combat, explore a strange fantasy world in a single player or online co-op. Unearth the ancient mysteries of the Sparks. These first look videos are designed to showcase the gameplay and features of new and upcoming games, so you can decide whether this is a game you may, uh, may like and whether it's a game you want to see more of here on the channel. So if you can enjoy the content, make sure to hit the like button and of course consider subscribing if you want to see more factory automation games content here on the channel. In this video, I'll be focusing very heavily on the gameplay and skip a lot of the dialogue, so that's to showcase as much as possible of the actual gameplay in a single video. Let's dive in. So here we are in the game. We are landing here. This is our character. And we can, of course, zoom in and out and all that stuff. And uh, this starts in a little village, kind of like Stardew Valley, I would say, where there's some different merchants and uh, NPCs to interact with that they will give us quests. Now, if for this uh, showcase, I want to skip as much as possible of the sort of the story, introduction, that kind of thing. So we get started on, uh, on the actual building and I want to showcase how this game works and plays when you get beyond the little bit of tutorial. So the first things, we are going to be taking our shed because it got hit by some random metal object. That is kind of the uh, part to get us started on this. So we'll uh, need to go around and talk to the bin and get our quest to fix the, uh, fix the shed again. We've now completed the very first mess missions and uh, are allowed to leave the tutorial area, the city area here, all of these will be activated in a short while and we have to go through the mine shaft. To go through the mine shaft, examine the ancient shrine on the other side of the village and solve the mystery of the ancient shrine. So that is what we're going to do now. We're coming out here and having a look at this location. So here we have the ancient shrine. So we find a shrine and this one is a Stumpy Spark Shrine. It turns out that the ancient shrine is some kind of machine. This, mach this shrine is broken, but it's asking to fix it. Items to fix itself. When fixed, it'll be able to make Stumpy Spark. That's the whole idea of this Odds Box. Uh, it wants either shards, which you can get by hunting animals. If you don't know how to hunt, maybe you should find a corpse somewhere in the woodlands. And we also need some wood lo some uh, wooden logs. So we need to go out here and start uh, farming stuff. This is not fast. Uh, so we'll get a little bit and then things drop down on the ground. We, if we nearby, we can pick it up. Here is a creature. If we don't know how to hunt, which we do not know how to hunt, then we'll have to find some uh, corpses. So let's get all these stuff. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's look around for here are some corpses that we can get. That is a corpse. And we can get that. These uh, little bunnies here are not hostile. Yay, we got some stuff. Right, that's all the easier shots we need. And we then need a little bit more of the wood, which we can also get from this. So we now come back, we have what we need here, and got in here, complete the quest. So it slowly spins and we get a Stumpy Spark. So these are pretty much the essential thing of what we need. Our little minions, they are super cute. And it turns into a little token that we can have in our pocket. And we now have one Stumpy Spark, which is here. So that means we now have uh, more options. And uh, this Stumpy Spark, we can now deploy by holding space. Oh, it's already deployed because it's here. Then we can hold space and then assign it to do stuff. So uh, now it'll start. It's not going to be super fast, but since there are many of them, then it should be good. We can actually start making a single one. Uh, we can't make it because we need we need one of these uh, zombies box in here to actually complete it. All right, there. And I will then do there. So now this stumpy spark will start working. It'll create one more little spark. And that spark will then be, it's sort of a little... Uh, self-replicating self, uh, thing because they will build and then they'll build faster and so on and so forth. So we need to build a few sparks here. Throw the spark twice, call back the spark and harvest pine sapling. Cool. So we have another stumpy spark. And then we can put this on the active. Now if we are producing here 
and uh, I can then assign my single stumpy spark to start harvesting more wood. That wood we can feed in here so that we can keep working on uh, the next ones. And we also have some leaves and something called an etheric pellet that we don't know what to do with right now. And we got some stuff here and they will always pick up one thing. There we go. And if I put it in here, then they should almost be able to build the next one. And you come in here. There we go. So now we have two working at the same time. So you can see that's kind of speeds up pretty rapidly as soon as we <clears throat> get the next one. Then we can definitely here. There we go. And then that will start working. And we have our two sparks that are now working on getting this. So now we actually have it sort of self self uh, propelled here. We can also use the sparks to attack. So if we send a few over here, then they will attack. They'll just take one hit, but they give us some uh, ether sparks here, which they'll be picking up. They'll always be, they'll always pick up one of those things as they come back. But uh, they can drop like three or four items. So if I send three or four items over here, or three or four of these over here, then they will be picking it up. Uh, it's kind of a nice way to do this. There we go. And you can see that now we're actually getting a little bit of a, there we go. We're getting a sort of a little cute little army and they will be picking up one each but when they come back to us and we can go back in here and then get some either shards and some of that some wood we can only harvest the small trees uh, there and we don't have any additional so we have a little bit of an army and we got the guest quest completed so let's head back to the divine uh, researcher so with our army of uh, little stubby sparks, we now come back and uh, hand in the quest and he will tell us some things about other stuff. Um, not giving us a new quest, but we can look at uh, the map and then see that now the woodsman has a quest for us. So let's uh, jolly go up here for the woodsman and uh, see what you're up to. So you want just to deliver logs, stone and two stubby sparks. Then uh, once you get that, we can actually get a logger and some wooden logs. Great. So let's farm those. We can actually get those uh, here in this uh, town by just farming them here. And we put items in here for the quest completed, done. Anything that's in the excess, we can just pick up again. So we are going to now get the logger. We get some wood logs. We get some wood logs and some stone back again. And then we get etheric orb. Etheric orb is kind of a limited resource that we uh, can then need or need to build a logger. So that's a logger like this, where you can actually farm an infinite number of resources from these kind of special trees. So that's uh, pretty good. Let's see, we have two more quests. So let's pick those up and head out and see if we can complete those. So this guy wants uh, three stumpy sparks for, I don't know, who knows what he needs it for. And uh, ah, so we can do path, which is super amazing. Really, uh, really great. So now we need to build a logger, connect the logger with a stumpy spark shrine, throw the stumpy sparks on the path, uh, three of those, and transport the wooden logs to and craft some stumpy spikes. That's pretty damn, uh, pretty damn now. Now this is the first sort of little bit of automation we actually have here. And we also get the mayor. What do you have for us? You have, uh, just check out the quest overview, done. The quest overview is a good thing that I mention it because you can see here, these are the different NPCs and they have some different quests that they need to need to do. And uh, you can see the light ones are the ones that are completed and the dark ones are the ones that are not completed. So we have uh, this one, we get some sawn timber as a reward, but we need to set up our first production line, which is this part, which is what we need to do. And once we do that, then we can hopefully uh, unlock the, some of these quests, which will be the next step. Nothing more in here. So we move out and get into get out and set up our first production line. So here we have our giant tree. This is what we need to do. And we need a logger to be built here. We go into build menu, find a harvester that takes some wood, some stone and some etheric orbs. I can build this here. You can see that this has a little output located here. So I can bring that up and bring it into that one. Yes. So we now have a logger. Now, how does the logger work? Well, we need to uh, insert some sparks there's now two sparks that's kind of a lot uh we'll take well you know what i'll take two of these uh, we're gonna need to get more sparks here yes please and there so you can see they are producing extremely quickly now and we can just shuffle them around like this but that is a uh, not of a particular use for us what we can do though is we can make a dirt road so if we make a dirt road like this that connects these two things it kind of works as a conveyor and then if you want to get something going, you can see that they only work. Uh, we can assign them. We can throw our little sparks onto the uh, path. And if you put them here, one, two, three, 
then I'll just get my own ones away. So they go and they only go right hand side. So they go around and they carry it. And then they will be going into this location. And now we have the very first automation. They're bringing it in here. We just uh, were told to get eight of, uh, get three of them on here. And, but we need to transport 20 and craft 20 sparks. So that is uh, a little bit more than we have right now. So let's sit a little bit more on this. Uh, we can also see that this is producing way too fast. So I'm just going to help it out a little bit. So there we go. To get some sparks. And we need, need the sparks to go in here. And then I can in the meantime go out and explore a little bit. And we just need to make sure. Because I do not have enough ether shards. So I need to go out and kill some of those little uh, bunnies. These ones here. But we will be able to overfill this one. And I would like to be able to not just fill this one up but actually have a little storage so what i can do is i can build over here i can build a barrel a barrel is only for storage it doesn't work for any uh any um what do you say yeah so it, it works for storage but you can't pick up from it so i've been i can pave it through here and that means that if they go by here then they will be unloading you can see they always need to go to the end of the road here so they sort of follow the edge and that's going to be a little little bit of a challenge. But once this one is full, as it actually is now, then we will see that they actually move on and then they start filling up into this. So we have some buffer in case we need something for, you know, the next thing we want to build, for example. Um, but we need to go out. I think we have built eight crafty stumps, but I want to make sure that this continues to build while we are uh, away. So let's uh, get a few more of the ether shots. We're now completing the quest here at the Quartermaster. And yeah. then what do we get? Uh, we get not much, but we get a new quest over here by the Woodsman. So we go over to the Woodsman and see what we got here. So what is it we can do? We need to deliver 100 wooden logs. That's not a big deal. And then we get a saw bench. Okay, well, that's easy. And also another quest here. And that is deliver 10 stumpy box and 5 ether shots. Hmm. That is actually not a problem for us at this point. I'll be doing most of this and most of this, and then we can actually complete it immediately. That's nice. And then there are more shrines, but we get a spark workbench, which is great because we can actually make that spark workbench uh, make more sparkies in a better way and also different ones. So we need to build a spark bench and build more stumpy box. All right, so that's a little bit more on the... Uh, on, on the automation part. Then we have a number of quests here. We have this one, the Sorbent, which needs the 100. And we have... Ah, so it's a side quest. Stump is back. We need to get 20... Oh, we need to uh, build the workbench and craft 20 Stumpy Sparks. And here we need to get wood. So let's go out and uh, get those things sorted. So out here in the wild, we found another Distiller Shrine. So this one is requesting... Five ether shots. Luckily, we have tons of those. So let's complete it. And what it does is it now takes etheric pellets and turns them into shots. That's perfect. Uh, that means we can now take some of these, which I have a lot of. Uh, but I don't want all of them. I want to make sure that I kind of have 10 of these. Then they will start crafting. I will put a spark in here. And can I then also, uh, let's see, the output is here. I'll make two. Then I'll make a build that'll be here. That's just into a box. And I need to build a single one that just transports things back and forth. That should be good. That will just be back and forth. This one is, let's get two of those in here. They will be crafting a lot of etheric pellets. One etheric pellet gets to be six of the other ones. Excellent, that's great. Let's go back and uh, set up, figure out what we can do in a production line. So in order for us to actually make uh, the new building, this building here, the Spark Workbench, we need to make it at one of these locations. And if we look at it, we want to have a giant tree, tree so we can make a logger on that giant tree. And we want to not make a ping here. Uh, let's build it a little bit. So I found a place that's kind of okay, where we can build a logger. That is going to be here. And we can build a assembler. That will be here. And then we can somehow connect them I suppose we can't go up here, so we have to go mm -hmm. go that way, and then that way, and then that way. Good. So now we need to insert two sparks, and then we need to insert two sparks and 27 of those. Then we need to insert some sparks walking. 
Ooh, that's a lot of walking sparks. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go like this, and then I will build here. Build a little road. I can't make it one tile, so I have to make it two tiles. And we make a little bucket here, and that will then have the last one in on this line. So now we have everything working. This is making, you can see the recipes here, but we only have one recipe, and that's the stumpy spark. So we keep working on the stumpy spark. I don't have any active things left, but they will start making stumpy sparks, which would be good. Uh, we are also going to need a lot more wood uh, in here. This one, there we go. That was quick, quickly getting that wood. But that also means that back here uh, around my original. Is that the right way? Yes, it's kind of the right way, but it's a little bit of a walk. We have now some stumpy sp or some sparks done that we can pick up. And we should also have a lot of wood uh, piled up that we can then bring back. And then we have all the quests completed. You have 10 of those. Ah, man. So this might actually just need a... An extra storage here. Yeah, I think that would be nice to get an extra storage just to make sure that we have, um, yeah, extra storage, and that goes into a barrel, barrel here, which will then need a single spark. Single spark goes here, and a single spark in there. So that goes back and forth. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to make ether shards or get them in here, but that's just kind of how this works. Uh, we need to make sure we have all of this, and we don't definitely have all the twenty we need. All right, all good. And I think we also want to, well, we'll get a little more sparks here and then we'll go back to our main base or our home base. And now time to hand in quest one, two, three, four, five. You wanted hundred and we got that and we get a saw bench and we can then get saw timber. So that is uh, interesting. So that's uh, a new thing we can do. And then we get the uh, go down here for the next one you just wanted us to make some stumpies great and we get some either shots that is excellent um and then we get the easier shots and then we can look at who else has missions that is the mayor has a mission for us and let's see what you have that will be the one that is a little bit longer and this one will deliver 40 sparky stumps and deliver sawn timber so now we need to actually make something a little bit bigger for the sawn timber let's uh, go out and set that up uh, because now things have to be a little more serious. No more quests here, but uh, whew, let's go out there and get it. We're making a little addition here. We're just making a little branch off this line. And uh, what we'll see is that they will now go over here and they'll fire this one up. Ancient waypoints, and uh, they are saying that immediately. That means if we, once these are online, then we can actually teleport back to this location. Just like that, we teleport back to this location, which is a little bit silly in this case. But it's going to be really nice because this is where we make our sparks. So. Let's uh, get those. We have a little army of sparks here and they're ready to uh, to go out. So what is it we want to make? Uh, we want to make some new saw bench. That is the one. Uh, let's see what that is. That is a saw bench. Okay, so we need a lot of wood. Let's go back and get the wood here. So although this one is chugging along and happily building what it should be, then I think, think that what we really want to right now, we uh, we have one that already makes it. That's the other one. And I think here, even though we do need 40 of those, and how many do we have? We have 30, almost 30 down here. So 30 plus 33 we have. We could actually almost uh, bring them back. But what we need to build is up here a refiner. So let's try and get that. Like they're going to come down from this path here and then get one, two. Ah, I need to move my little army. Three and oh, typical. Uh, luckily, we can go onto tools and just move it. That's really neat, right? All right, so I built four of these. That's kind of a lot. And I'm going to be taking my road. First of all, I'm just taking the road like this. I'm not connecting it because, well, I don't know, because I'm not connecting it right now. Well, let's just connect it. They're going to be super busy. So they'll be going here. And then first, they'll try to fill this one up. That's fine. If they fill this one up, and then they'll be moving on to the other ones. But that means we need an awful lot of additional things. All these are making timber. So I will need to get all the stuff out here on the outside. Getting all this. Let's make it up here. And then we just make a box. Nope. Uh, how do we make a box? Oh, I don't have any wood. Oops. Wood is here. 20 wood. Great. And then I can make the barrel here. There we go. So that should be all the things we need. I am going to put in some sparks into all of these and some more sparks and some more sparks. And then, of course, we need an awful lot more of, uh, of these running around here so we can actually feed it. So we're just going to be throwing a mass amount in here. 
and they will just be queuing up. And there, you can see that there is definitely a capacity here because they can only carry one and they can only sort of pick it up at a certain rate. And my guess would be that it would cost Brunt to this rate. I mean, anything more would be really silly, I think. But as you can also see, we need quite a lot here to make sure that they will saturate because they will go down this path here and then they'll start saturating the first ones. They'll be start working. They'll get that sawn timber. I need sawn timber 60 and I need the stumpy spikes uh, 40 there. So this is uh, replenishing and the other one is replenishing. What we can do, map, we can just jump down here to the teleporter and see how many we sparks we have. We probably need to go out and get some more of these ether shards. Let's go out and get that. Uh, we are in a fortunate position, you could say, that um, we have a lot of these and it makes it a lot easier to go out and farm. So out we go and farm some stuff while the everything else is chugging along. And we actually have a lot of these uh, timber now. There we go. How much we got? We don't have it quite enough, but almost enough. And what about stump sparks? Do we have enough of those? Uh, it should be pretty close. Almost, and that's four, 30 plus this, and we also have the other one. I'm just going to be putting these one in and uh, just feeding them as much as we can. I think this one should be ready. Nope, <laughs> 19, so we're one off. So give me one more of these, and probably a little bit more. Now we hand in the quest to here. That is 40 of these and 60 of that, and that will be happy. That is perfect, and what they will do is... Oh, sorry. Did I click it a little bit too fast? Oh yeah, the merchant is now unlocked. And we also get tier two unlocked. Excellent, let's continue on that. We also already got the pellet refining and then we need to find the crafty spark. And then we have to make wooden panels and go. So look at the map. We have now quests from the merchant and uh, from the other two as well. Oh, mm-hmm. So now do you want us to kill field bunnies to see if we mm -hmm. can work as a, uh, uh, we can use these as weapons? Mm-hmm. What kind of merchant is that? But whatever. We only have 11 left, but that is fine. And what about the... What about you? What are you looking for? All right. So, deliver three etheric pellets. That's perfect because we already have that. Uh, because we... Oops. There. Take that out. Take that in. And he already got that. And what this does is... I'm skipping all the text because otherwise we would never be, uh, be ready. What we need to do is we need to go here to this monument... And the beautiful thing is, we can now, oh, we can teleport to it. Ah, there we go. So now we have a teleporter in the city and a teleporter out in the world. Okay, there we go. We've now teleported to that one. And we can then go back and tell him that how we are teleporting. And we also have the other teleporter out in the world. And we get more ether shards and nice, which is perfect. Perfect. He does not give us anything new, but the woodsman has something else, which will give us the ability to make wood panels out of... Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Oh no, it's actually the new stuff. Okay, not the panels yet. But here is the other one. So we now get the ability to make wooden panels if we make loggers, sawmills, saw bench, and sawn wood. Cool, let's get those done. We have now located the new shrine that was hinted about. Hard to find, but here it is. What do we got here? So we now get a, the ability opportunity to make crafty spark shrines, but we can't make it yet because we need sparky stump, uh, stumpy sparks, which we have, but we also need wooden panels. Damn, no wooden panels. Hmm. Well, um, we also have the completed the next mission, and that's the one that is uh, uh, for killing these out in, the wild, out in the wilderness, so that is good. And let's see, uh, is there nothing else around here? I'm kind of hoping there was a chest nearby so we can just grab it from a chest. Uh, nope, nope, no chests nearby. So uh, it looks like we have to make those panels first, which is a the next part, which we can only do after we've done uh, the... Uh, what is it? Here we have to make the timber, the 100 timber, and only when we've done the 100 timber can we get on, make the next one. Ooh, look at that. Here's something interesting. What do we have? A elephant corpse. Let's uh, attack that. Whee! Lots and lots of interesting stuff. These ones are deceptive, these uh, uh, backs. That's when there are more, multiple things on top of each other. That's there. Okay, so we just got a new item. Don't know what that is, but did we get? Uh, we got an. Did we get an? We got an etheric orb. So we get etheric orb from uh, killing the elephant corpses. That is very nice. Now we know that. 
and the, remember the ethereal gobs are the ones that needed to make the loggers from trees so that's kind of the the, the constraint of how fast we can we can make it Oh no, that's not a Belephant corpse, that's a genuine real Belephant. Uh, that's probably a little bit problematic. Uh, let's... Let's get them back. Okay, never mind. We'll just throw all of them in here. We'll probably lose a lot. Kill it! As long as it doesn't jump. There we go, we killed the Belephant. Nice. Uh, let's see what that gives us. Did we get anything from that? None of that. Maybe some etheric clumps. But we certainly got a lot of uh, these aether shots, which is nice. So let's... There. We got our wooden panels. We got that. Let's find our hometown. I'm kind of running out here to see if there's a teleport nearby, because that would be so nice. But alas, doesn't seem to be. Ah, look at that. There is a teleporter nearby. That is brilliant. Look at that. That's a great teleporter. So we need to tap the giant tree and just make it into uh, to storage here. So let's uh, do that. Where is the tree? That is down here. So this tree will need to be built. He oh. What am oh, we need some wood. Okay. And the teleporter is now activated. We have that available. That's good. That makes everything a little bit simpler because we can teleport up here. And that gets us a little bit closer and I will teleport. Actually, I need, do need to go down here because we need to find all that. So let's go south anyway. Now we can easily teleport back and now it's time for us to get the crafty spine. Uh, no, nope, that's not it. Uh, we're looking for something else. We're looking for this one, wooden panel, shun quest log and pin to screen. That's the one there. And I am completely lost. There's definitely some more NPCs about uh, around here. Uh, let's go this way. So, we are going, oh, you're actually completed as well. Let's see. That was the one who wanted to kill, oh. wanted to kill fields bunnies. That is perfect. And he just says, uh, "Oh, a elephant." Well, we killed the elephant, but I don't know. Maybe we can find another one, or maybe we can actually find the same one again. So we need to kill a elephant. Elephant, yes. And uh, we'll kill one of those uh, again. Another one of those, and we'll build one, two, three, four, five. That should be make you happy. Great. Mm -hmm. And now we get the next quest. Um, and that means you want to make something deliver 60 wood panels. Well, that's something. So now we need to set up wood panel builds. Also, the quartermaster has a quest for us, which is another wood panel. So that's 60 plus 10, that's 70 wood panels. So everything we need to do now is we need to find one elephant and we need to make a lot of wood panels. Uh, wood panels are made from... Uh, where was the elephant? The elephant was up here, I think. So it'll probably respawn. And yeah, let's take this one. And then we'll go to find. Uh, let's yeah, we'll go here and then change this one to make to make the panels. So the way it works is this here, the sawmill. Ah, funny how the sawmill is not is just not ready. Uh, here, let's get that sawmill. I can actually just insert some more here. So since they're not all in queue, then it can definitely absorb some more. So what are we going to build? We are going to build another one of these refiners and we'll build it the other way. So we'll build it this way. Yes. And I am suspecting that it... Uh, there, there. So that is making 7.5... And it needs... Oh, that's not it. We need a new recipe. This one. It needs... Fi it makes 15 per minute, but it needs, it needs five more of those. So it needs 60 of those per minute. And each of these is only producing seven and a half. So it's not even close to uh, to being enough. Uh, but, you know, well, it'll, it'll kind of have to have to be there. And uh, you're going to be start working. And then I'll be making a box outbound. We don't have the other better ones yet. So let's get some wood. the wood and let's get the barrels that will be let's make that here get this and then get a single one to move back and forth and that gets us some wooden panels not a lot of wooden panels but a little bit of wooden panels uh, we will get here great wooden panels and uh, wooden panels are needed to activate the shrine up here so 
We need four plus we are sure that whatever crafty sparks need it, they will definitely need to have more wooden panels. So we'll be sitting here waiting for more wooden panels to get in there. Also, there's a little bit of a of a gem here. Hey, it looks like we found another elephant. So that's great. So let's uh, engage. And this one is like, if it gets surrounded, then it'll be jumping. And that's what it does now. And then I blow them back, and then we send them back in. I don't know, I don't think that's a good idea. We'll just send them all in. There we go. Just go, 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 go. They're losing a few, but that's fine. There we go. We killed one of these, and that was one of the things that we wanted. There we go. And that was the quest. Oh, well, look at that. There was a... There's another shrine down here here it is and this is not available in the demo what is it it's a loamy spark shrine okay so that's a new kind of shrine that's not available in the demo hmm oh but there's a teleporter so now we're here with the sparky shrine let's open inventory put some stumpy spines and some of this that one and i need it there so complete the quests perfect we get a new a crafty spark sweet and it turns into a token again and then we can obviously make that. And I also have some stuff here on the ground that we that we lost. There we go. So I can now do here and that one. Then that starts working. It's two plus two. So it's actually the stumpy spines that's the main issue here. We're going to be milky making some of these. And uh, let's see. We have a few things that we need to do. And now the main thing is craft a sparky shrine. Yes, that's one. So we are going to take the crafty spine and actually upgrade them here uh, so that we can see this is now 2.5 per minute and now it would be 3.8 per minute. So it's 50% faster. That's really nice to know. So 50% extra yield we get from uh, spark and some crafty spines. Crafty sparks. Great. So now we need a number of those. I don't know how many we need, but we definitely need some. Uh, we can make this output, but we can't make the input because... I don't have the a, a box that can be taken from. I can only have a box. I only currently have a box that can be put into. So now we're back here and hmm, well, what can we say? It's not really fast enough. And I think part of it is also still the fact that we are spending so much of it going over here. Uh, but what we could do is we could exchange these for some uh, crafty sparks. So that means it now goes up to 90. This one seems to get what it wants, so let's get that one faster as well. But you can say, if this one is, the last one isn't getting anything, then there's really no point. So the crafting are, if you look here, the crafty spine, they have bad offense, but good efficiency. That means building stuff. And here, this one is just bad at all. So that's a, that's a thing. And what do we have here? We have now 60 and we need 71. Was it 71? I think it was 71. Oh, it was 70 we needed. So that should be fine. Uh, they are moving. And it is very much the fact that we are not really getting enough out here. So you can see they are sort of always in a queue here. So I can't get any more capacity out here. And no matter what, this is... Yeah, it's it's just too too fast. There. And there's some, some constra capacity constraints, which is interesting to see. And uh, good to have those kind of capacity constraints because those are the things that sort of make room for optimization. But we now have all that we need to hand in the quests. So let's go back and hand in the quests we have. First, about killing the elephant. We've killed three of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we got some ether shots. That's always nice. Oh. And there we go. Nothing more on that one. And then we have logistics to the quartermaster. And let's see, you want 60. One, two, three. So let's get that done. That gets us a wood workshop and a wooden blade. Nice. Mm -hmm. So that gets us an uh, ability to make wooden blades. And over here, we get the ability to make intersections uh -huh. and such as that. Okay, that needs to go in here. Get that. And you have that. So now it's a signs uh -huh. and uh, crates. Well, it's really nice because you have crates. You can do inputs and outputs, crossings. You can do intersections and splitters. You can, well, split the flow. So that's really nice. It kind of functions a bit like belts, these ones. But it, uh, yeah, it's, it's different enough that it feels really uh, interesting. There we go. We have one more quest here. We're kind of running out of quests because we're nearing the end of the um, 
of the demo. We need to craft those and we deliver and eat the shots. That's funny because we actually have all that because I had kind of prepared for it. There, and we got it. We'll craft that. Nice. There we go. And uh, what else? We get new quests. Ah, the mayor. The mayor's quests are always the most demanding. So let's see what uh, you have for us so we can set up the production line for that. Here we go. Crafters box and wooden blades are now the mission. So now we actually have to make two things. We need to make the crafters box and the wooden blades. I'm going to make the crafters box here. And what we're going to do is we are going to take some of the uh, new things we got. We got this one, the crate. Okay, so that's uh, kind of funny that we are now running out of those uh, timbers. Hmm, that's a little bit unfortunate. But uh, I guess we'll have to find some of these. There we go. There's 20 of those. Whoa! Does that mean that they were just simply not getting enough here? Ah, that's interesting. All right, well, let's get some more. Now, let's see. That is, we want to make this here. And go in. And we'll just have a single one. And I will be making there. Right, so that will just be feeding in here now. Now, I will also be taking this out. And I will be going to tools. Take this one out as well. Uh, can I just delete it? No, I can't. There. I can't delete it when it's on a uh, on a production line, but I can move it away from the production line. So this will now be filling up with these. Good. And I will go into another one of these spark workshops. So let's find a way to make a spark workshop here. That is uh, spark workshop here. And uh, let's make it like this. That's kind of funny. Uh, okay, I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to take you out and then i'm gonna take pick up this part yes so now we will have you're gonna go okay like that and this will just be a barrel like that and this will also be taken out and that will be a mm, crate, which we don't have yet, but we should have more crates. Need more crates. Damn, these are... They need more crates. And... Have more crates. There we go. And do I have enough? Yes. And you will now be... Like that. Okay, so what happens now is we're going to make that inbound. We're going to make this one. And we're going to make this one and yeah. All right. So now I need to just get this changed the recipe to the sparky things. And then we just need to make one here. One, two, three, four. And one there. I think one is fine. Just for getting this back and forth. Two plus two. There. And we need some inputs. I will be getting some of these maybe. Do they take a long time? 3.8 per minute? That's probably going to be too fast. There. We'll make the normal ones. So, let's see. Is it working? Yes. We are now in automated our crafty spark sparks here. Uh, I'll be taking some of these in. So, this location. Great. So, that'll be here. This is filling up as long as we have that one uh, saturated. Good. And moving over to the other one. This one is not being used for very much. And uh, let's start making some refineries here. I'm going to make it up here. So let's see. One, two, three. Why is, not, why is that not possible? Oh, because I don't have enough wood for this. Uh, let's go over here and grab some more wood. And then also upgrade these to that. And three. Let's do three. I know four should technically be possible, but I don't have enough for this, I guess. There we go. And let's get four. There. So each of these are now making... What is, okay, and let's uh, build a... Let's try one more time to see if we can get a reasonable way of doing this. That one. And then you go in here. Oh, and also has to go from there. There we go. And then I definitely need a lot of... Come on. Can I... There we go. Lots of those. 
Ah, uh, they're gonna run out before. Okay. They're gonna run this way, and that's fine. All of these will be working, and they'll be making this. And uh, what I need to make is the wooden blade. The wooden blade is some panels and some timber. So that is this one that comes out as timber. Let's try and use. And uh, let's see. Oh, they said just needing some normal builders and some normal ones and some normal ones. There. And then I want to build a crossing here. Not because it's the right way to do it, but because I will then use the crossing for something that uh, makes kind of makes sense there. There's a crossing. That's enough for a crossing. I will go in here, make a crossing. Like this. And then I'll drag it through. And that goes, this will now be all of the, what do they call here? And I'll just need to get some more of these little fellas here. Damn, I need uh, a lot of them. Good. Then that goes over here and that needs to be built into two things. I need to get finally into a wood. Where do we get the wooden workshop at? Uh, the saw bench, is that the one that makes the wooden? Wood workshop, no, this one, the wood workshop. All right, so I need 20 of those. So now we changed some things and I have accepted that I will be running out of wood for this one because that was just, it was just not really getting us anywhere, to be perfectly honest. So we'll, we'll focus on this and uh, from here we need a wood workshop. The wood workshop is, uh, it can be built anywhere we want. Great. And I actually don't need any of this. So the wood workshop can go here. There we go. And then I will need a saw bench. There we go. That's going to be... Let's see if we can get the saw bench with this part. Yep, we can. Let's get another saw bench. There we go. And that should be between this and the other one. But I can't build it up here. This is too close. And that is too far away. So, okay. We'll move it a little bit. Moving things is super easy in this game. And that's really nice. Uh, that actually means that I could be taking you and just moving it down here right so this saw bench is making the panels great and then all I need to do is I need to uh, this has moved one out doesn't it yeah it does isn't that going to be problematic it has to be like this Okay, and here, here, and here. Right, so that should be all the stuff that we need. That uh, there, and you're gonna go here, craft the blades, and then we need someone to go on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one to go here. And then the last one will be just the output, which will be a happy barrel, I guess. Here, that one, which will be like that. And then a single one walking. So that gets gonna, that should get us the blades we need. Uh, you're going to go in here. You're going to go in here. They are going to work. So you will get some... How did that happen? Let's see how that works. Oh, they're almost blocking it. Okay, so that's they can actually kind of block it. So this goes all the way over here. Uh, I'm getting tempted to try one of these locations. One of these locations, but I don't think they work. Or I don't think they do what I... Th they, I think they, co they cost too much in terms of performance to really work. But let's, uh, let's give it a shot here. There. There you go. And we have this wood workshop hammering away and building some wooden blades for us. We need 50 wooden blades and we need 40 crafts uh, sparkies. Great. And so finally we have the 50 we need of this. This took a little bit of time to get that, but uh, hey, we got it. Let's jump on back and hand this in. I think there's one more quest remaining that we need to uh, deal with, I think. Let's see. And this is one, two, three. One, two, three, and four. That's too many. Uh, there, four. 
That's correct. Good. You're happy. Awesome. And what did we get? Woodland tier 2. So let's see. We got this one completed. We got the crafty sparks. We now can do a choppy spark. That's the last one. And you can see there's no more quests here. And the only thing we can do is go to the merchant and figure out if uh, what mm. mission you have. You have... Mm. Find the ancient shrine. Oh. All right. Good luck out there. And no more quests. Where's the ancient shrine? It's up there. Close to where we already are. So let's go up there. And that means we can... We can, at this point, make some craft, uh, some new, what are they called? New sparks, some choppy sparks. Let's go, uh, let's go find that. And here it is. Let's see, this is the part we need. Stumpy sparks and wooden blades to get this one. And let's see what we have. We have none of this and we didn't get any of this. We've got choppy sparks and stumpy sparks. We also have a teleporter, which is amazing, except we don't have any trees that are anywhere near so I'd have to sort of drag it from this location all the way up. That's a little bit ambitious. So we'll uh, get some choppy sparks and we'll get some uh, here. We'll get some of these blades and then get up there and put it in. So we put in the stumpy sparks here and some blades complete. And just as usual, we get some choppy sparks and they will be turned into some choppy tokens. Excellent. And we have all these things we drop next to it. And then we can now build, start building something. That's 10 and that's one. Uh, nope, they are going to go in. No, they are not going to be built here. There, we built those and then there, there, there. That's working. And uh, in this case, I can actually build some. Um, no, I can't. Damn, why did I forget that? Oh, well, I'm going to build some choppy sparks. So now we have some of these uh, choppies and you can see when we have multiple then we can press Q and E to move back and forth and if we then deploy these they can actually uh, chop down the big trees. So we're getting some new stuff. Look at how efficient they are. Look at that. And they are actually really good for, well, obviously for wood. So that's, oh right, they just go ham out here. Great. And that is excellent. We're going to take whatever we have. I've also built this uh, very, very long line just so I could uh, teleport back here very long line from there and i will just go back and see there is a quest a last quest a final quest that we can do here in this uh and let me see where are we uh this way here this is the final quest and i know it's been a bit long but i wanted to show all there was to be in the demo and here so basically we're saying give us 10 choppy choppy sparks in order to get us a spark key the whole uh, objective is that we get a spark key or get nine spark keys and when we get those nine spark keys that seems to be the mission complete for the game and we now have a quest that we got a new key and the key is actually to be inserted right into this monument so we go in and we insert the key and it starts rumbling and what will happen Thank you for playing the Oddsparks demo. So remember, this is coming out on uh, 24th of April. So if you find this interesting, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below what I, what awful things I made. Remember, this is also a multiplayer game if you are into that kind of thing. So super interesting. And uh, let's have a look at it when it comes out. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.